And here we go! Players are in! And they're starting off pretty close together, actually in spawns. Both players are going for bots, apparently. But they're choosing a different secondary. Looks like Milk Dragon's going to go ahead and go air, power, and then mechs. While over here, Flatch is going to go ahead and he's going to go with a metal extractor and then another bot factory and a vehicle factory. So that's going to be an interesting change up. Both players getting to work very quickly and Milk Dragon will probably go for scouts to start off with from that air factory. Go ahead and start searching. Already he's getting on taking those mechs. Both players can technically take a group of mechs a piece and actually we'll probably see this game mostly played warily because neither player wants to put themselves in too bad of a situation Doc's already out from white and starting on scouting and same here for red and actually both players may meet up and these dogs are great for harassment and when metal is a very important thing it's great to have them and all right in comes milk dragons and milk dragon loses to white and two more docks is coming in and they will now meet each other here and now white knows exactly where milk dragon is got a fighter here just sort of sitting there and it's going to drop to the ground and if that docks comes in it'll be able to destroy it both players know approximately where the other one is just because there's four starting spawn locations and since it's only about a minute in it was doubtful that his troops were going to come from match play somewhere else and red is pulling back his troops from white going to need to be very wary he's going to have to build a lot both players really doing bots at this time, which is surprising because bots still aren't that amazingly powerful. In comes a bomber coming in and drops some bombs. Mainly misses though. And actually, those docks are going to destroy the opposing docks. Oh, yep. Looks like they got, it, but they lost quite a few units. More bombers coming out. No vehicles set up yet at all. White going ahead and tossing down some turrets and also a metal storage, although he's having some issues with energy now and again. He's going to have to be careful about that. Bombers coming in, wiping out a good number of docks. And it's very handy to have those bombers. But not a lot of vehicles at all. This seems to be mainly bot wars going on. But the other two spawn locations have been secured approximately. Fighter nearby, and if those engineers get too close to that fighter, that fighter will actually go ahead and target them. And we can only hope. In comes, fires up. And here and it comes. One down, two down. There goes both of those fighters. And that just allows Red to go ahead and keep on expanding. And he's secured the other one as well. So this is going to force White to go ahead and stay locked up here. And with the larger economy, Red can really push forwards in building his economy. Bomber comes in, doesn't even get to drop a bomb it gets taken down immediately as soon as it comes within range boom comes in takes out quite a few enemy units and those tanks stray real too close to those docks and easily get taken down when you have another enough docks they do a lot of damage booms are getting together and they actually provide quite a bit of good support if they can make it to the enemy Booms rushing forwards, and they all get taken down. Doc's chasing after these units, but instead turn to go ahead and take out this force. An expeditionary force has started, 
we might see them go ahead and swing around here up over to this location go ahead and try to take out this mech field and a few more turrets would be a great idea to put down here because mechs are so incredibly important some anti-air turrets or something right uh nope laser defense turret and then radar going up good idea and instead looks like that white's choosing to go ahead and send units up over this way Doc spreading out looks like a patrol command and they pull back together knowing that enemy units are coming towards that place and actually if red can get around the side here and just come in the backside there's a lot of open area here that would be easy to hit and destroy units coming forwards and they're going after that engineer engineer gets taken down always want to watch those engineers and keep them safe Very quiet on that front there. And as you can see here, white's really tight in. Both players hurting for power. Energy storage going up here for red, however. He's going to try to save himself energy when he's not doing things. He's got some vehicle factories up and almost has an energy plant up here. Both players actually running off of miraculously low amounts of energy. No power plants here for white and only a single one that was going on for red. And here we go. Good bomb harass going on and those bombers are going to want to be pulled back. Why not? Just going to go ahead and sit there at this time. Incursion being made here. Units coming in, attacking those factories. Getting taken out by that turret pretty hard. And all of those units will be mopped up by those turrets. Both players now running on full steam. And as long as Red can keep White from holding this area, he will be in a great place. Already sending a unit over to go ahead and start building on these mechs. So he obviously feels prepared enough to strike. Another large group coming in. We should see a flanking maneuver hopefully going on here. And in comes fighters. Take down that engineer. These units pull back before these ones give chase. Going to try to survive. Wait for this group to come forwards. More units coming forwards for red as well. And they may go ahead and try to hit that factory line there. There's not a lot of defenses at all. Save for that one bomber there now. And the commander is close. Other than that, they're quite alone. Units moving forwards. Red has been seen. And those booms are actually going to want to get in there. If they don't, they're going to get lost. And all of those booms get taken down before they have a chance to do anything, which is a great loss because they could do a lot. And a nice battle going on up here. As we can see, those units are going at one another. These docks is really getting in close to those tanks. And those tanks can't do much against them. They don't fire quickly enough, and Red wins this engagement, controlling this third Max field. Looks like a battle went on here, which I missed, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find it. Oh, here we go. A bomber was taking out. No air defenses. Big loss, and Red will actually lose this Max field at this time. very low to defend against it. And there goes that turret 
taken down. Red continuing to push forwards, however. At least white has not actually secured any of these locations and gone these mechs up for himself. And that is causing him to have quite a few problems. He can't really expand any more than he already has for fear that he'll actually dump his economy more than it is. Milk Dragon, however, was relying on that superior economy and he's actually in the negative because he lost those mechs. And these bolos are taking their time trying to destroy that air factory. More units coming in. And hopefully we'll see those booms used. Booms coming forwards. And they just get left out in the cold. Commander coming forwards to act as a defense. One factory down. Four gray. White. now that this is broken up mainly they'll be pretty easy pickings unless they pull together again quite a few gray units engineers get destroyed and now building going on over here radar going to go up here and hopefully we'll see some anti-air and turrets those bombers get taken down defensive turrets coming up here slowly both players are in the negative except red has gone ahead and pulled out of it for the time being and here comes white with his commander going to try building turret right up close change of fire going on and Red comes out this relatively unscathed except for that one bomber that gets through and does quite a bit of damage lots of units coming together for Red multiple turrets and some anti-air finally going up here units getting together up to go ahead and take out Gray's forces Bomber gets in, does quite a bit of damage. If a bomber survives making it an attack, they can do a lot of damage to groups of Dachshund. And boom, makes it actually all the way to a Bolo. Takes it out. Those doxes are getting hit pretty hard by those bombers. Those bombers do present a significant problem. All but one of the doxes are taken out. Air superiority is really key in this time. And here we go. Looks like Gray has been pushed out. Go ahead and... Chrono Cam would show up. Alright, here we go. Yep, units came in, went ahead and cleared that out. And Commander coming forward here. Boom's coming in! And I think they all got taken out before they could hit that Commander. I'm not sure, however. And they come. Boom, boom. I actually still have no idea. Commander gets pulled back here. He's going to need to stay out of that fight, mainly. But Red has cleared out this area. And if he can go ahead and take it back, that will actually provide him with a great advantage. And... Gray sending some units forwards. Just two polos. Nothing too scary. It's 
Some fighters come in over this mech's field. Nice battle going on. And as you can see, even with very low mechs, both players can build pretty substantial armies. And that's a really amazing thing. Most games, if you had this view of resources compared to normal, you'd hardly be able to build anything. Turret taking shots now at all those dachshunds. And those dachshunds are going to have to pull back. And actually, if one had been built here, that would have been perfect. But now they have to actually pull back now. They do not have substantial enough numbers to go up against those turrets. They might have been able to take down one or two of those one or two of these, but not enough to take down all of them. Commander taking hits from the side. Not a lot, but just enough to be a problem. Commander now down to 37 health. Percent health. He's going to have to watch it. And Red now expanding his economy once again, taking back all these mechs he lost. Getting things back together there. White. Still sitting around mainly, getting some more forces out, but he doesn't have much of an economy. His commander's pulling back slowly. And this might be it for him. A lot of units coming forwards now from Red. Red's economy is quite stable. And he can take his time and outbuild White. As we can look at the armies. 86 versus 67 here. Inferno's coming in and they will probably not make it towards the commander. Boom's coming in as well. Rushing forwards. Gets taken out. Commander now down to 17% health. And this might be it for him. He's going to really have to watch it. 14% health. And as these units come in from the other side, they are a significant threat to that commander who already has very, very low health. Dox is coming forward. Take him down, he's 10%. Overhand shut off. Income bolos. They might not make the commander. Bombers come in and more bolos. The commander is saved barely with 5% health left. Red really needs to get some air superiority going on. Both players now have almost equal in unit numbers. Now finally units make it into these power plants. Boom coming forward, taking down that inferno. And it looks like booms are just being built out of here. Lots of booms to say the least. They're going to rush forwards and do very little. And in comes Red with all of his units. Making their way in against all of those factories. Booms doing significant amount of damage to those power generators. Power generators being taken down quickly. White moving back, pulling his forces back, looks like. Might be trying to make it over here. As his base is slowly whittled down to nothing. Milk Dragon's main advantage was that he was able to take and hold these mechs fields, allowing him to produce a lot more units. Although a good substantial force coming in, swinging around the back of Red's base. We might see a good assault come. Bomber comes in, drops bomb straight in, rips the troop numbers in half. Another bombing run. Unit numbers have been significantly decreased. And one dox left. And that is it for Gray's forces. Gray has almost none left very few he's traveling with and the commander at 5% health.
If red can find gray, then he'll be well off. But he has built no defenses up here, which is going to be a loss. Because if he had even two turrets, he would have more than enough to go ahead and destroy all of those incoming units. Last few units making an exodus towards that commander. And he can see these incoming enemies. So he's going to go ahead and try and engage them. However, he mainly has booms. So it's not the safest thing to go on directly engage them. In comes the booms. Now it looks like they were having issues trying to take on his vehicles. There we go. Boom comes in, destroys two of them. And there we go. Bolos are taken down. More factories coming up here. Radar going up for red. If he gets a radar up, he'll be able to easily find out where the commander is. And actually, he's found out where the commander is. So red now knows exactly where he needs to be sending all of his troops. And actually, two or three bombers should be more than enough to take on that commander. Radar is put up. And still waiting on either player to go ahead and make a move. Red just clearing out the rest of this base. Bomber coming out here. This commander has a lot of units. He's still at 100% health. And now, white is running in a deficit. Looks like he's just building lots and lots of booms. Trying to get an air factory up here. Incoming bombers! They know where the commander is. Lots of forces coming forward, tons of docks. And those dogs will actually be really effective against those booms because of their rapid fire capabilities. The booms do not have very much health, and the doxes have quite a substantial ray of fire. And they just take all of them down before they can do anything. And here comes those docks, taking on the enemy bellows as they get go. Moving in very close. Bolos do not have the rapid fire capability that those doxes have. And in a superior number, they will be taken down. And they're still looking for the commander. Heading. Still looking for that commander. Just destroying the base, actually. And it looks like that milk is called GG. And that is going to be it. And so, Red takes the victory. Milk Dragon is the winner of this round two after a 24-minute game.